Well, Sean, what's life like these days, man? I feel like you're the uh, the UFC's newest superstar, man. You're getting all kinds of attention. I don't know, man. I just, oh, shit, I got a microphone. I got the microphone. I don't know. Life's good, man. Life's fucking good, dude. Fucking, you know, I sit at home. I spar. Like, you know, I'm fucking, I'm not broke. That's fucking nice. I don't know how much you guys make, but not being broke sucks. Dude. It's, it's really great, you know? That's yeah, fucking nice, man. I mean, you guys are probably, you guys probably, you know, you guys are probably a little broke. You guys are, you guys are, you guys are fucking in the media, you know? We all, got, we all got into this. Unless your body. name is fucking Weinstein, bro. I mean, you know, like media that kind of struggles a little bit. <laughs> uh, so listen, it's funny because right, like, I feel like you kind of avoided the attention for a long time. Like you didn't really enjoy it. But it seems like you're kind of embracing it now. Has something changed and you're like, that's ah, not so bad. No, you know what it is? You know what it is? Like I'm getting to a point where I can say shit and not get cut from the UFC, you know? So before it's like, oh, man, I wasn't good. Like I couldn't, I couldn't say shit because Dana White would be like, hey, go fuck that white trash motherfucker. Get him out of here. But now, since I'm getting a little bit more, like, you know, fan base, people want to watch me fight, I can say a lot more offensive shit, so it's nice. So were you actually conscious about it growing up? Like, dude, if I open my mouth, people oh. are not going to like what I have to say. Fuck yeah, man. Every, every coach or manager I ever had, like, Sean, shut up. They're not going to sign you. Like, shut up. They don't want that. They want an image. And then, like, you know, now I'm just going to be the white trash motherfucker that I am. It's nice. Is that nice? Because, you know, the old reputation was you were the asshole that nobody wanted to train with because you would fight. Now you're, you're the white trash guy. Is that, like, a better reputation? Now? I mean, I'm still no one wants to train with me, but, you know, like, I mean, I don't, okay, I say I'm not white trash. Just because I grew up without fucking bathroom doors, you know? Like, I grew up in, like, a middle-class household, you know? We just have doors, but we weren't white trash. I mean, we were, no, we were, like, you know, like, the neighborhood, there's always that one white trash fucking house everybody avoids. Like, there's always cop cars in the front, windows fucking broken. Like, that was us, but I wasn't necessarily poor. Have you gotten any uh, homemaking tips since you gave, you debuted your episode of Cribs? Have you uh, gotten any decorating advice, dude, maybe? Or? Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing, dude, about fucking decorations and clothes and cars. Guys only fucking do it to get laid. Dave Chappelle has a great skit, dude. He talks about, like... He talks about, like, if a guy could fuck a chick in a cardboard box, he would fucking do it. The only reason why any of you fucking people wake up and you have your gay little fucking European haircut or Australian haircut is for fucking women, dude. If that wasn't the case, you wouldn't have a couch. You wouldn't have a fucking bed. You'd be sleeping on a fucking mattress in a fucking cave somewhere. <laughs> so, like, listen, you guys. You guys are all just a bunch of manipulated, you know, chasing the pussy too much. Calm down. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's my kind, like of, wanted to that's my kind of girl right there I like that uh, alright so listen main event again I mean are, are you learning anything from these you know lessons or opportunities I mean is it a comfortable spot what, I mean, what do you think I don't know dude like you know I obviously think that I'm a fucking prostitute for the UFC so it's like I like that they give me money but like I'm not going to sit here and wear a suit and think I'm anything other than just a dog fighter. I mean, at the end of the day, we, get, we locked in the cage, we punch each other in the face, we try to kill each other, we make somebody millions, and we get paid fractions of that, which I'm not hating. I love my job. I love what I get paid, but come on now. We're not doing anything special. You guys watch us. We're like a fucking circus. We're like pornography. It's something you, you like, you want to fucking, you know, you want to jerk off to, but you don't necessarily want to do. <laughs> I have not done that to a fight. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, uh, uh, Jack Hermanson is an opponent. I mean, what, what do you make of him as a fighter? Oh, man. I, he's, he said he's going to finish me in one round on his knees. I fucking, I was like, oh, shit. It's scary. What, do you guys know he's going to finish me? What do you guys tell you? We haven't seen him yet. He's, he's oh, later today. No, uh, Jack, Jack is a good guy. What, they call him the Joker? How does that even happen? How, why is he called the Joker? Because he smiles a lot. Oh, that's fucking gay. I thought he was more of like, I want to fucking burn down the world, Joker. Uh, at the moment, when he first actually did, I was like, dude, me and this guy, we might have some shit in common. We might be a fellow fucking, like, destructive maniac. And then once I got to know him, I'm like, he's a really nice, happy guy. Fuck this guy. You're not my, you're not my friend. <laughs> you win here. I mean, like I said, you're on this rise, man. You win here. We're talking about the elite of the division is all that's left to face, right? I mean, are you looking at any of those names? Does it, you know, Costa, nah. Vittori? I mean, what, what are you looking at? I mean, ideally, ideally, Brunson beats um, Cannonier, and maybe I could, like, if I do an impressive performance, I can, you know, dump and dodge and get a title shot. That'd be, that'd be the perfect world. But at the end of the day, man, I'm just here to fight, make some money. But, yeah, if I get a title shot, fuck yeah, let's go. I'll make fun of Stylebender's fucking titty all day long. Will that mean something to you, a title, or is it just about the, the money that comes along with that? I mean, it's one of those weird things, dude, like, fucking, you know, if they want to fight for fucking ribbon and ten, give them ribbon and fucking ten. Like, it's, yeah, like, it'd be cool to do, but at the end of the day, man, like, it's a fucking, it's, it's fake. It's fucking fake, man. It's fake. Do you get to a point, so, like, you got to a point where you say, I can say what I want. When you're a champion, 
Do you feel like you can say what you want, or do you have to be careful because now you're representing the brand? No, it's even better now because when you're a champion, I could go full like Conor McGregor. I could go fucking hit a old guy in a bar, fucking throw a fucking throw a try to fucking assault Khabib's manager, Ali. You know, it's fucking even better, dude. <laughs> That's great. Last thing for me, I mean, you said it, impressive performance. Maybe you get a title shot. So, I mean, do you feel like you got to go in there and do something spectacular, or is it just just make sure you pick up the win? You know, man, I, I say that, but it's all it's all on me. Like, I want to go in there and have a fucking war. I want to have a fucking bloodbath, dude. Like, you know, like, oh, man, I just, you know, I want to fucking, you know, kill or be killed. Like, there's nothing worse than leaving a fight thinking that you fought like a fucking pussy, you know? I'd rather fucking lose a fight on my back than go in there and be like, oh, I fought like a pussy and I won, you know? Hey, man. Why did the UFC not want to change your name from Tarzan to something else? Dude, I don't know. I always ask him. Maybe I never went through the official channels. I'm usually just like, hey, random number that texts me with a UFC tag. Like, change my fucking name. Like, dude, like, I'm a fucking savage, man. Like, I'm a fucking, like, like I'm a pillager. Like, you know, like, I, I, like, I will cross any moral lines. Like, I, I don't even think morality exists in my brain. So why the fuck am I named after a Disney character? I was younger, had long hair, and everyone was like, oh, well, like, you, he's wild, he has long hair, Tarzan. It was fucking gay. I probably thought it'd get me laid when I was a dumb kid, and I'd, like, tell women that I'm emotional. I watch fucking Disney movies, suck my dick. Going on to this women thing that you've, you've got going on today, in your tour of your house, you said that the bedroom was where no magic happened. Oh, yeah, no. Do you think that has anything to do with the fact that to flush your toilet, you have to physically <laughs> shove your hand into it? In all fairness, guys, I called maintenance... We're going to get that shit handled. We're going to get that shit handled, bro. We're going to get that shit handled. But, hey, you know what, man? If, if a girl can't handle a white trash me, why are they going to handle a rich me? You know, I should go buy a fucking Mercedes. You know, I should go buy a fucking BMW in a nice house. That would be nice. Thanks for the pointers, man. I'll get a gay haircut like you. Okay, please. Somebody, somebody show this guy his fucking haircut. When you post this fucking interview, dude, show your gay fucking haircut with it. <laughs> Listen, I put a lot of work in for this. By the way, dude, when I, when I make fun of gays, dude, I fucking, I love gay men, dude. Gay men are awesome. Lesbians, not so much. Lesbians hate me. Lesbians look at me like the guy that hurt them. I'm not the guy. I'm not your father. But gay men, gay men look at me like they want to fuck me, and I respect that. You know, they compliment me. They slide in my DM. I get some dick pics every now and then. I respect that shit. So I'm not homophobic. Sean Strickland loves gay men. I love yeah. bi women, too. So it's like, you know, it's one of those things where I'm not, I'm not full lesbian, but kind of. <laughs> Did uh, Jack Hermanson see you after sparring? The other day? Oh, fuck yeah. I walked in the gym. So I sparred Tuesday and it was like a hard session. You know, I'm having all these like fresh, mean Russians like fucking tag team me like I'm in a fucking casting call, you know? <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, I walk in the gym. I walk in the gym and I'm all hunched over, fucking sore. And he's like all upright, like fucking, you know, all Swedish, good looking guy. Yeah, so that wasn't my fucking proudest moment. Why does Kevin Holland not like you? Oh, Kevin Holland. He's Kevin Holland. I don't. I think I told him I could rape him in prison one day and it bothered him. But I'm just saying the facts, dude. I'm just saying the fucking facts, man. If me and you were in a jail cell together and I wanted to, like, I could take that ass. Uh, no, nah, he, he, like, he started, like, talking shit to me on, on, on Instagram. And I, I think I, I one-upped him by saying that, which I don't think it's a one-up. I'm telling you some really fucked up things. So, anyways, I seen him at the PI the other day. And, like... He's, like, popped out his fucking chest, like, or, like, come on, like, trying to fight me. And I'm, like, Kevin Holland, bro, you have my Instagram, dude. Like, we can't fight here. Edgar, my boy Edgar, the fucking, the, the, the UFC guy with the abs, he's going to break this shit up. We can't fight here. You got to fucking call me. We'll go to this fucking parking lot, and we'll fucking, we'll do the fucking man dance. The thing about Kevin Holland, you know, he just, he doesn't know how to embrace his feelings. He doesn't know how to feel. He's scared of his feelings. So, like, Kevin Holland's one of those guys, he sees me, he's, sc he's scared of me. And, and it's fair, he's a, he's a very tall, scary black man. A part, of, a, part of, a part of him scares me. But I could look at him and say, Kevin Holland, you scare me. I'm okay with that. I allow myself to feel. I'm not, a, I'm not scared of feelings, but I will still take you out in the fucking parking lot and fight you to the fucking death. And Kevin Holland, he's just not that way because I was like, Kevin, listen, man, I don't need money. You just fucking, you just walk out these fucking doors. Let's go. And he was like, fuck that. I'm right here. I'm like, he's just being a pussy. He's just, he's, he's just scared to feel. Kevin Holland, you call me, dude. We could, we could talk about your feelings. I got you. Don't be, don't be scared. Last one from me. In the video of you showing your house around, uh, there's a bit where you just picked up various guns. Do you feel like one day that video will be used as an advertisement for gun control? Uh, you know, man, if I ever killed somebody, like, realis realistically, I would hate to use a gun. Like, honestly, how impersonal is that to shoot someone? Like, that's not even real. Like, like ideally, ideally, when I fantasize about killing somebody, I think it... No, I mean, we all, you tell me you never fantasize about killing You never laid in bed at night and said, what if... Some, this guy called my haircut gay once. Let me... Uh, let me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
But I listen, I see you guys. You've never laid in bed. You've never wanted to kill one person in your life, ever. Don't fucking lie to me, you fucking liars. Every human being on this fucking planet has thought some boss or somebody that fucked their girlfriend, they've sat in bed and like, I would like to kill this motherfucker. It's all normal. You guys are no better than me, especially maybe you with your gay fucking haircut. But... <laughs> Disappearing as well. I've got a receding hair. Yeah, that's all right, dude. Me too, man. I'm fucking, dude. Hair, hair's her fucking little boys, dude. You got hair on your balls. That's all that matters. Maybe. No, but anyways, you like we've all fantasized about it. If every single one of us would enjoy killing somebody, if I ever get the opportunity to do in a legal way, I would like it to be very personal. I'd like it to be in my hands. Thanks, Sean. 